Papbergs are blobs of fat all in grease uh, mixed with wet wipes and everything else that people put down their toilets and down their drains. Fatbergs could be seen as a multi-billion dollar problem around the world. There are major knock-on impacts of fatbergs in the sewers. It's not just that you have a blockage in the sewer. It could actually back up into people's toilets, into people's properties. That could overflow and uh, flood the people's properties because uh, the water has to come out somewhere. Uh, it could also uh, flood roadways, overflow into um, river, rivers, water bodies and obviously that can cause fish kills and kill other forms of life too. My work on fatbergs, it started a number of years ago. My students did an analysis of the success of the Dublin City programme on fat soils in Greece and they found that there was uh, over a 90% reduction in the blockages and sewers, the fatbergs, that were a problem before that. So that happened in 2008 and we wrote a literature review paper which turned out to be highly cited. So you need enforcement, you need equipment, and you also need education, so they're like the three E's. I started to get a lot of requests from media to explain the benefits of educating people and, and getting the message out there that fatbergs are a problem in sewers and we should all try our best to try and reduce that problem. I found, you know, the, the closing question I would get, get asked often in, in interviews would be, you know, what's the message for the citizens listening to this interview and I would say about the, the, the slogan of only flush the three uh, peas, the paper pee and poo and around that time I saw there was a call out from Bright Club Ireland to ask researchers uh, to uh, tell jokes about their research as in a, a stand-up comedy set so I said uh, seeing as people would only remember the funny things I said in interviews, I said it, it can't be too hard to do stand-up comedy, so that's how I end up volunteering for it. So I, I see there's a lot of uh, Fatberg fans in the audience tonight. I went up on YouTube afterwards and we got a lot of uh, positive feedback. The amusing side of it is that I, as part of the comedy, I, I created this character called Dr. Fatberg, like a superhero. Uh, saving the world from Fatbergs, kind of like a Fatberg Avenger. The industry partner I, I worked with, he had planned to develop a comic to promote his business and he just rang me up after he saw me on YouTube uh, doing the stand-up comedy. He asked me, would I mind if they inserted me as a character in, in their comic? If you can try and simplify the message in a funny, amusing way, it seems to resonate and catches people's attention.